Hi Taurus, it is June 4th, 2024. Today, you guys, let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages show up for you. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? Shuffle two more times, Taurus. let's connect what does Taurus need to know right now spirits okay so the very first card you have is the two of wands you're you're doing things for the future Taurus I'm seeing you looking ahead with this two of wands and then you have the page of wands so there's something very exciting here that I see, like a new adventure, something that you're looking forward to. We're going to go back and clarify the cards. The next card you have is Temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. Wow. Nine of Cups right under the Two of Wands, a wish fulfillment. King of Swords in the center of your reading. And then you have Death, Scorpio Energy, and the Ten of Swords. The Fool, Aries Energy. And then you have the Emperor. This is Aries Energy. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands. You got a lot of excitement that's showing up here soon in your energy, Taurus. Let's see what this is about. Why is the Two of Wands here, Spirits? Okay, so you have the Six of Swords. This is you making some type of move, but um, whatever this move is that I'm seeing that you're going to be making, Taurus, you're moving into calmer water. You're kind of looking back, though. But someone is saying, look at the bigger picture. Um, this is Pisces energy, and I'm seeing someone ha here handing you a pentacle, a messenger. Okay, and I see you actually, you can see the movement right here in the card. It's like, you're like, okay, let's go. Because with the two of wands here... Um, someone watching me right now, not all of you, but someone watching me right now, you kind of feel like, I'm not sure, you know, if I want to continue doing what I'm doing or if, you know, or if, um, I want to use that key. And move into calmer water because you seem to be holding a key in your hand. And this Knight of Pentacles right here, you guys, this is a messenger. This is someone offering you something. Someone taking action. This is something in your material world showing up here, this offer. The next card you have is the Page of Wands. So whatever this offer is, it's exciting to you. Okay? It's a new adventure. Tell me why that because there's something here that I see that you're just not happy you're not happy with. And that has something to do with your money, your home, your stability here. Feeling grounded. Tell me why the page of wands is here. The lovers Gemini energy. And you have the Three of Swords. 
and you have the Eight of Pentacles. There's a cycle closing out. There's a chapter closing out with the world. And, um... see you guys being excited to get ready to go to work on whatever's next it's like this is the planning stages after you accept this pentacle here so this may be a new job it's some type of opportunity here but there's someone here with you Taurus this is Gemini energy I, I think I told you guys but there's someone here with you holding your hand someone that loves you and there's heartbreak. There's something here that's happened between the two of you that caused heartbreak. And I'm seeing like a mutual decision. Let's let's work on this. Let's work on this heartbreak. There's there's a lot of love here. Let's reconcile. Let's fix this. Let's find peace. Tell me why temperance is here. There may be someone here at a distance from you, Taurus, or that is a different nationality. I'm seeing specifically for someone here, the person that you're dealing with here, they have dark hair. Tell me why temperance is here. Okay, so you have the Knight of Wands. The Four of Cups and the King of Pentacles. You have someone else here in your energy, Taurus. You don't just have one person. You got two people. You got someone here that is looking at you and they feel like they've lost you. They feel like they've missed an opportunity with you. They see you, you know, this person could be someone that you're with right now or that you were with, but someone feels like um, they're losing you and they don't want to lose you. The next card you have is the Nine of Cups and this is telling me that you're saying, I'm going to do what makes me happy. I just saw, saw Strength, which is Leo energy, but you're, you're saying, I'm going to do what makes me happy here. You guys may be alone right now, but this is not going to last very long. You guys have two different energies showing up here. And the timeline could be a little bit off for some of you guys. But, you, oh my gosh, look at this. You guys have like this, this overwhelming, long-lasting, forever love in your energy here. And you're in the right energy with the Nine of Cups where you've already filled your own cups and you're ready to accept this 10th cup of love. This marriage or this combining of two people to create this world, this Ten of Pentacles, something that will last a lifetime. But I'm seeing, you may not even know it yet, but I see you choosing between two people. And this is sitting in your energy right now, Taurus. The next card you have is you have the King of Wands. You're very magnetic right now, very attractive. Tell me why the King of Swords is here. Yeah, you're making a decision that you're going to you're going to do what makes you happy. You have someone here, Taurus, that you love, okay? And we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles here with the Ten of Pentacles. You both have the same ideas of being together forever. But there is this heartbreak that is sitting here, but there's a reconciliation here. Um, tell me more about the King of Swords. You're making a decision. Taurus. Oh my gosh. The Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands. This decision that you're that you're making, this third party, this may not be a lover, this may be a family member. 
Hold on, you guys. Let me grab a different deck here. I feel like this may be this Queen of Wands. Maybe um, someone doesn't like or I don't know if they don't like it. I don't know if you're not um, feeling happy in some type of position that you're in right now. And it's like you're going, okay, I'm going to go over there. You're giving to two, two different energies for sure that are strong. One may be like an older child showing up as the Queen of Wands. Tell me why the Queen of Wands is here. See, there they are. This person is also in your life for the long term. Yeah, so you have two different energies showing up here, Taurus. I just see there's there's something here that between these two different energies, I don't know if they're both romantic, one of them is, but between these two different ener energies, it's like you are... You have these two different doorways behind you. And one of them is already open. And I feel like you're going to shut one door and open this new door over here. Because <laughs> there's something here you've been, you've been going with the flow. You've been doing it, but it doesn't feel right. Tell me why death is here. Yes, you're, you're making some type of a move into a new commitment, okay? The Hierophant is here, Taurus. This is your energy making some type of move into calmer water. But the next card we have showing up here is the Ten of Swords. So it's kind of painful to disconnect. Um, I don't know how you're disconnecting, but you're somehow disconnecting from a family member or someone here that you love there's some type of separation it doesn't mean the love is gone it just means there's some type of separation tell me why the ten of swords is here the devil you're re you're releasing something here that that was toxic the devil is capricorn energy and i'm i even see the devil like waving goodbye like it's like i'm letting go of this this energy this place where i'm not happy it's it doesn't feel like i belong here it feels like something's missing and you're letting it go See, here's the Knight of Pentacles showing up the offer that says, come on, let's go. So someone is telling you, come on, let's go. And this toxic energy, I see it waving goodbye. And something about it, it hurts because this is a new, you know, a whole new world for you. Your wish fulfillment all right letting go but it's hard to let go but there's something here this is aquarius energy by the way it kind of leaves you feeling a bit like um sadness but then there's this other energy of oh my gosh i'm free i am free i'm free of all of all of this that i've been holding on to for so long so here you are with the fool and you're walking towards the emperor here tell me why the fool is here someone here is getting married or something that's very stable a very stable committed relationship the sun i mean this is happiness See, finally, you've made your decision. You've made your choice. And you have the yes card. You have the sun. It's very exciting showing up here in the future. Like, I'm free. I'm moving on into the sun. 
Tell me why the sun is here. Why does this bring you so much happiness? You guys are getting really good energy. Like a lot of happiness coming into your energy. What you wish for, what you dream for, it's all coming. It's all coming. Like now is the time to drop the burdens that you've carried for so long that didn't even belong to you. It's like you're thinking about yourself. All right, the Nine of Pentacles is here. Doing what makes you happy and pushing back what, what you don't need in your life. It's like, finally, I'm doing what makes me happy. This last walk uphill that I'm doing, I'm doing it for me is what I'm getting here. And the next card you have, you have an emperor here. So this is someone else that you love that I see you walking towards. And it is your Ten of Pentacles. This is a marriage. This is two people moving in together. This is a long-lasting relationship, Taurus. And you go into this relationship with love. All right? But I see you making the decision here. This is the infinity sign. I'm seeing you moving into a position that's going to last forever. And this is cancer energy. You have the chariot here. And it's the fastest moving card in the tarot deck. It's like you're, you're, you're running towards love. You're choosing you and what you love. Whether it's a person a job, whatever it is, you're running towards love. You're running towards your heart. You're making plans here. It's a manifestation. Your manifestation is coming true. Tell me why the Ace of Wands is here. There's been an ongoing cycle here that has kept you feeling stuck. Like... You thought that you would never be able to leave. It's coming down. It's coming to an end. And it's going to end suddenly. And you're going to be very excited about what presents itself next. But this is kind of like, I don't know if I can go. I'm not sure if I can go. But yes, it's okay. You're free. The world is here. The cycle is over. The cycle is complete. You've completed the cycle. You've completed the work. 11-11, you're on the right path. And this is a great celebration here that you're going to be celebrating, Taurus. And then you have this King of Wands here. So you have someone here that loves you. All right. That... um. I see this person getting to work, Taurus, and they're kind of evaluating the situation. Tell me why the Seven of Pentacles is here. This person on their end, they may, they may need to be waiting for something. The Five of Cups. Tell me more about the Five of Cups. That's the same Queen of Wands that you're walking away from. This person, they may be in a position here where they're waiting for you. But I see them excited and making plans. But, um... Taurus, I feel like you, you know, like you know... Something here is not going to grow any further than it already has. And it's time for you to move on. But I see this energy of sadness here of something that you're leaving behind. But whatever you're leaving behind. Let me just check into this one more time. Because I really feel like you're worried about whoever this Queen of Wands is. Spirits, tell me about the Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands.
Yeah. This is this is someone that um, that you love, okay? And this person loves you unconditionally, but this is someone that may be a little bit demanding, okay, or sharp with their words. This this could be a Leo a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but it's someone here that um, I feel like you've, you know, like you feel some type of responsibility for this person in some way, and this is like codependency showing up right here. see what message we get here for you Taurus to end your reading with okay so today you have the sheep power medicine I am enough I am unique I distance myself from negativity and that's what I see you doing in this reading exactly is you're distancing yourself from something that isn't good for you personally it's like you're choosing you my life gets better and better every day i am worthy at i am worthy of the best life i look forward to the opportunities that come to me today i am open to receiving so even though this is someone that you love this queen of wands and um don't get too hung up on the gender of the queen of wands um because it could be any gender here that you're dealing with i'm seeing this person actually with you breaking away from them this person will actually become stronger and they're going to feel like they um you know like it gives them this feeling of being in a position of power in some way. It puts them in charge. It's like you may not even know it, Taurus, but you are um you you may be in some way controlling this person out of love and you don't realize it. You think you're doing it out of love, but it's only holding this person back. But Taurus, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here with me. Um, move on. Move into this happy place. It's here for you. It's showing up in your energy right now. You should be seeing it soon if you're not already seeing this coming in. I love you guys and we'll meet back here again tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.